Absolutely. I like your ranking. Great analysis. Sounds like the changes are going to be good for a lot of these teams. Absolutely. Let's talk about a team that's actually looking to get back into the top five, Optic Gaming. We've heard about the players. Let's take a look at the rock behind the green wall. Here's Optic owner and CEO, Hex. The day that I that I knew that Big Timer had a YouTube personality or, or an entertainment side of, uh, of, of his persona that's going to be entertaining to the masses was uh, during Orlando 2011, uh, the, the MLG Orlando, because anytime the camera was on him, he was the goofy one. He was the one making the faces. He was the one trying to be entertaining. Everybody else would be like, he would be like making his faces. You could go back and, and, and watch that video. Um, and, and I would show it to my family, I would show it to, to my friends and be like, yo, this dude is funny, man. Like, he's, he's like the one that, that pops out the most, right? Uh, obviously during that interim uh, from then to now, you know, Nate Shot had, had an amazing explosion on YouTube. Scott P right behind him. And, and going into the house, like within the first week, I called it and I told Nate Shot and I told Scott P. I'm like, I'm like, man, you guys think you guys are, are, are the hot poop, right? But this is my dark horse. Like, I couldn't believe it. The, the gold that was coming out of this kid's mouth. But as always, I don't really have an outro, so I'm just going to leave you with something stupid like this. The, the ideas for, for, for content and all this was, was, pretty, was pretty entertaining, and I knew that, that he was going to be okay. Uh, as far as like being able to to release something funny, you know, uh, I think that that playing something outside of Call of Duty is what really made him comfortable enough to just get out there and say, you know, funny stuff on on, on camera. Listen here, ladies and gentlemen. I want to make one thing clear right now. Tonight there will be blood. Okay, there will be sweat, and there will be tears. All right, someone will die tonight. In the name of Optic! A couple of days ago, I woke up and I saw a text from him that pretty much said, Hey man, uh, after Philadelphia, you know, I don't think I want to be competing anymore. And, and that to me was like a uh, punch in the gut. Ah, man, like, like I, my, my head was just like trying to figure it out, trying to put sense to what had just happened, what I just read. And I'm like, I, I texted back, I'm like, Cool, hell yeah, let's make YouTube videos, let's have fun, let's, you know, let's, let's keep growing the brand. Hoping, hoping that he'd be like, uh, yeah, you know, maybe, yeah, maybe, right? Not, uh, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if he was gonna be like, yeah, I'm gonna move back or, or this and that. And I'm like, so I'm like, yeah, let's make videos, man. Let's, uh, let's play everything. Let's make a whole bunch of videos. Let's have fun, let's kill it. And then as, as, as I'm starting to like come back to my senses, I started like for, formulating these, these questions that I'm gonna ask him uh, to see if he's, if he's gonna stay and, and what his plans are. And he's like, he's like, yeah, man, I just don't think I have it. It's not fair to the guys that I don't wanna, I don't wanna practice anymore. And, and you know, I, I think that this is the best decision. I'm like, all right, cool, man. So, you know, you're still staying at the house, right? He's like, yeah, man, I, I love it here. I'm like, yeah, so question number one. Like that right away. And I'm like, hey, I don't know if this is like uh, too much of an insult or, or what, but like, uh, what do you still want to be involved in, in you know in competitive game like in, in competitive Call of Duty? He's like, yeah, I don't I don't want to step on Mike on Mike's toes. Mike Flames is our coach, and he's like, but I would like to coach. And at that point, I'm like, all right, we can make it work because Mike just got here. You know, you you lay down all the groundwork. I'm gonna do whatever it is that you that, whatever you want, bro. You are you you help me build this amazing dream that I'm living. So. I'm like, you're still sitting in the house, you're still gonna be doing this and that. And he's like, yeah, and I was like, good. All right, so I'll start developing a plan to, um, to get some sort of, uh, of, of plan going for what, how we're gonna proceed with your, with your retirement, uh, how we're gonna announce it, how we're gonna talk to the guys and tell them because we're playing in less than one week and you're bombshell dropping it right on me. UMG Philadelphia is going to be the last tournament in my um, competing career in competitive Call of Duty. Uh, you know, I, I I don't mind the way he did it. I, I I like the roller coaster of emotions that he put me through, and you know, I'm happy with the outcome so far, and look very very much forward to his future as an educator. Man, Hex is such a good guy, and you know you have to feel for him suffering all the team changes as of recently, but. He's been around the business forever. He's really grown this brand into one of the strongest brands in the industry. I think Optic Gaming is going to be just fine, and this new roster could turn out really well for them. I love